Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we'll be taking a look at Leo the Knight from the TMNT line. As you can see here it says he is a live action role play. Should be player I would assume but um, basically they call these the LARP turtles because that's what LARP stands for live action role playing. And there was an episode of the show where the four turtles each made a costume and decided to you know play out a LARPing scenario. So Leo was a knight. We can actually see the other four here on the back. Mikey was an elf, who was an archer. Donnie was a wizard. And Raph was a barbarian. So I know this is a bit of an older figure, but I kind of missed it on the first way through. Um, so I found it at a local Toys R Us, and I decided to grab it. I'm really looking for Donnie the wizard as well. The other ones are okay, but those are my two favorites. I don't really like Mikey as the elf at all, but that's just personal preference. Um, so yeah, I believe this was reissued because you can see the packaging is new. They have the kind of splash down here and the design of the turtle is different. So I think this was reissued and I'm hoping they'll do it with the others as well. Uh, taking a look on the back, Leo the Knight. Leo creates the perfect costume and becomes the ferocious Leo the Knight. With his fierce medieval sword, garbage can, lid shield, metal breastplate, and a pizza sauce can helmet, he is ready to take his LARP adventure take on his LARP adventure, excuse me. Little did he know that this little game would send the turtles on a challenging mission to save April. And again, you have to see that episode for more details. But it was a cool episode. I think it's fun that they decided to do stuff like this. With the original TMNT line, after they made, you know, all the individual characters, they went back and did crazy things with the turtles. Whether it was dressing them up like Universal Monsters or Star Trek characters or giving them wacky action features. You know, the line got crazy because they just, you know, the line was booming. Kids wanted more turtle figures, so they wanted to just come up with all kinds of different things they could do with them. I think this is a smart idea, and the fact that they did use it on the show, I feel like lends it uh, credence to them doing it. So it's really neat. I think it's a lot of fun. I like the look of this figure. Let's bust them out of the packaging, and we'll take a closer look. So here we have Leo the Knight out of the packaging. Aesthetically, I think he looks pretty good. He's got this obvious bath towel that they put a, a duck on the back. It would have been nice if that was painted, but I understand why it's not. Uh, he has his sword. He has his trash can lid shield. And of course, he has his helmet. Um, all of which is removable. Well, the cape might actually not be. But the helmet certainly is. So you can take that off. Um, the cape can move around because when you get it, it's kind of loose like this. And you'll see that there's kind of a cutout for his neck. So you kind of have to push it forward so that it sits right on his body. And then it looks a lot better as long as you push it forward like that. Standard shoulder joint in and out can spin around. You have a very similar joint in the elbow. My elbow joints feel a little loose though. Um, it's making me a little scared to move them around all that much, but I think they should be fine. And then the wrist can move around. And then you have this similar joint in the hip as you do in the shoulder where it can go spin around and also in and out. And then you have the normal, uh, well actually I guess it's the exact same joint for the knee as well. So he's got a lot of nice articulation. Now you can see here that the tape on his hands is not painted. The tape on his feet is but not on his hands. He does have the two peg holes in the bottom of his feet, otherwise they're pretty hollow. The head is also on a ball joint, if I didn't mention that, so that can spin from side to side. Now he's got this big bulky belt, which I wish they would have moved down just a little bit because it kind of hinders the arm articulation because they just smash right into it. So that's a little bit of a bummer, um, but I still think it's a pretty fun figure, but those are kind of my minor complaints. Just the, I wish the belt was a little bit lower, and I wish they painted the tape on the hands. Otherwise, pretty solid figure. Uh, here is the sword. It's, I assume it's just his normal katana that he taped some stuff onto to make it look like a knight's broad, like a broadsword. That fits pretty easily in his hand, I have to say. Same thing for the trash can lid. Very simple, but it fits very easily into his hand. And of course, now that I say that, it won't. There we go. So you can see it fits the, in, you know, over the two fingers very nicely. And then the helmet, which looks like a can with, I don't know, maybe some rulers or something. I can't, T-square, I'm not really sure what that is. Just kind of bolted to the side. But that, you just kind of drop that over top of the head. It's a little snug, so you just kind of have to push it down. 
but you can line it up so that the eyes match through the eye holes there. It's a pretty fun figure, I really have to say. They even have a cutout in the back for his bandana, so that's smart planning. I like that. But yeah, overall, I really like it. I think it's a lot of fun uh, having the turtles dress up as, you know, kind of Dungeons and Dragon characters uh, with them already being crazy turtles as it is, but it's just fun. I think it's a really smart idea. They did an episode with it on the show, so, you know, it makes the kids uh, see it on TV, and then, of course, they want the figures of it. I appreciate that they incorporated it into the show, because, like I said, it, it, you know, gives a little bit of explanation as to why you're getting toys of this. And it works. Like I said, I really think it works. I think there's, you know, nice paint applications where they're needed. Uh, minor nitpick is the, the tape paint application, but I can live without that. And I wish the belt was a little lower. I still like it. I think it's cool. I just wish it was a little lower so it didn't hinder his arm articulation all that much. But you can still get nice poses. You definitely can. So I think it's a really fun figure. I definitely recommend it if you can find it. If you don't have it already, go ahead and pick it up. Otherwise, if you already have it and you like it, let me know what you think in the comments below. Or if you don't like it, let me know in the comments below. Please like and share this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Leo the Knight from the TMNT line. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.